Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from Magic Tech Review. So let's do a quadrant standard bench tark benchmark test uh, between three or four devices. So let's go. All right, guys. What's up? This is John from Magic Tech Review, and today, before we get started, I'd like to just uh, let you guys know about a giveaway that I'm doing. I did it. I posted it last night on the live stream. It's uh, for an HCC Fetch giveaway. So guys, uh, after this video, go to the HCC Fetch giveaway that I'm doing and comment that you would like to win the HCC Fetch to be entered. And then we're going to draw it live. And as well, if you like my content, leave a like just like this. You hit the like button and it turns blue. It's amazing. And uh, these benchmark tests won't work if you don't hit the like button. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, for real, for real, hit that like button. All right, so on to the benchmark testing that we're going to be doing here. Uh, I have one, two, three, and then four over there, um, on over there. So we're going to go ahead and do the Quadrant Standard Edition um, benchmarks. So I'm going to try to get these done here. And apparently this Quadrant Standard thing is actually, um, what is it called? Trademarked or... Yeah, not trade, not trademark, but uh, copywritten. So I can't actually show you the when it's running. The thing is like I don't know, it's weird, but when it, whatever whatever it shows apparently is copywritten. Uh, it had happened to me on my old or on my other channel. So I'm gonna take you over here. So what we're doing is we're doing a benchmark test on the Acatel Idol Four DTE Grand X Max Two. Um, the LG Stylo 2 and the ZTE Grand X4. So we're going to go ahead and run that. And those should be about complete right now. And then we'll go ahead and test the whole thing when it's done. Um, be aware that this is not exactly indicative of everyday usage. Um, some phones, you know, might show a higher bench tech test mark scores uh, than others just because. So, I mean, this is not like you know, the definitive um, answer to any question as to which phone is better or worse. It's just a test that I like to run on different phones. So anyways, um, here we go. So let's go ahead and take a look here. This is the LG Stylo 2. And it says your device, 14,227. And do remember, guys, that this uh, benchmark is not being like tested on brand new phones. Yes, they're demo phones, but... You know, people play on them all the time. They download stuff. They uh, do stuff. So some of the memory is taken and all that other stuff. So just take that into consideration as well. But here are some benchmark scores for you to kind of uh, gauge uh, phones at. So the Acatel Idol 4 comes in screaming in at 23,977. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the... ZTE Grand X Max 2, which doesn't seem to be up here. Oh, okay, it's at 37,000 right here. It says your device. So it's a little bit harder to display here. Let me zoom in on this part. Maybe you can actually see this better if it would focus. Hello, focus. How are you? Work with me today. There we go. 30. Oh, it's no, it's 3,789. Yeah, that's not right. Um, let me try to run that again. See if it'll run. All right, and then let's take you over to the ZTE Grand X4 as well. And I don't know why my camera's doing this. It usually, usually cooperates very well. It says this device is 7,778. So, wow. Yeah, definitely these... Uh, doesn't look like this benchmark score does uh, very well nowadays. I guess the octa-core processing and everything kind of messes it up. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to find a new type of um, benchmark to run. Um, but the LG Stylo 2 and the ZT and the uh, Idol 4 definitely are in the ballpark range of what they're supposed to show. Um, so 14,000 over there, 32,000 over here. So Idol 4 obviously uh, very much faster than the... LG Stylo 2. So, and then we're going to run these again one more time. But just like I said, guys, these are not, you know, absolute scores. These are not like 
you know, if if uh, if it gets a low score on this, it's not you know indicative. But we can, but what we can take a look at is we could take a look at the uh, specs on the on the thing that actually reads off of the benchmark. So let's take a look at that as well once this thing is done. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Processing, processing, processing. And uh, let me got let me know, guys, of a benchmark that you would like to see me run on these phones um, that you guys like to see. So this is the one that I usually ran on all my phones uh, beforehand. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't look like your device. Yeah, 3,977. That's definitely off. All right. And then here we go again. See, your device, 21,000 for the Alcatel Idol 4. And 14,000, uh, 14, 084. So, yeah, this used to be a really good test back in the day. I used to run this all the time on these phones right here. But I guess they haven't updated the system or something like that or updated the app in a while. So we'll have to have to definitely... Oh, here we go. See, and then the uh, GT Grand X4 is cooperating now, so it says 17,168. So it looks like the GT Grand X Max 2 is just, you know, just not cooperating with this uh, certain benchmark. I don't know if they have to actually uh, register for this or something like that, or they have to put it on there. But we could take a look here, the GT Grand X4, and you can see some of the some of the features here. So it's architecture eight, of course, four cores. Got eight of them, or yeah, it's quad core. 1.4 megahertz is the max, and then the minimum is 960. And then here you go with the total and the free. And then you have your display right there, so 720p with a DPI of 269. And there you go. So for those of you tech heads out there that might know about all these things right here and then the last one right here so these are all the things right there and I'm gonna run these through on each one of them so that was the Grand X4 so I'm gonna run this on the Alcatel Idol 4 I'm gonna go back to it I should say so here we go system information and obviously, if you want to see any of these or whatever, you just pause it during the you know the the one that you want. So here we go with this one. So max max frequency is 1.5 gigahertz, and then minimum is basically one gigahertz. Eight cores, Qualcomm, of course, and then we have your free total memory and inactive. So, and then we have a resolution of 1080p on the Octal Idol 4 DPI of uh, 422 okay refresh rate of course and then that's all that right there if you guys know I'm, I'm not even sure what all these things really mean to be perfectly honest with you guys but here you go accelerometer magnetometer uh, gyroscope proximity and light so these are all the things that basically the phone comes with and there you go so it's just a bunch of bunch of stuff to actually learn about all these phones and yeah so here we go SDK version 6.0.1 uh, let's see here so model LG K540 brand LG Alright, so 1.2 gigahertz, minimum is 200 megahertz, four cores, Qualcomm of course, you got your memory free, total, and inactive right there, then you have your resolution 720p, uh, DPI of 258, and there you go, so go ahead and look at all this stuff as well. I know there are some tech heads out here that actually like to see all this stuff, so uh, these are all the different sensors they have in there. 
network interfaces and let's go ahead and go to the ZTE Grand Max 2. So there's your model number of course Z988. Then you got your alright and then the max frequency on this one is 1.5 gigahertz minimum is 960 and then you got your cores as octa-core of course Qualcomm and then here's the memory total free and active inactive and then you got your resolution of 1080p uh, DPI showing a 160 not sure that's probably off and then here you go with the rest of it all right and then you got the accelerometer magnetometer gyroscope accelerometer all this goodness so all right guys well this has been John from magic tech review again don't forget to hit that like hit that subscribe button as well and also comment on that video about the HCC fetch uh, would like to have, see as many participants as I can in that video, and then we're going to do a live giveaway on Friday. So peace out, guys, and let me know what you'd like to see next, and actually ask me a question in the comments, and I'm going to feature your question in the next video. So peace out. Mm -hmm.